Hi, this is Chris Legaspi, and in this video, we're going to talk about how to paint dark skin color using Photoshop or any other digital painting app. Now, skin color is a, a very complex thing. Color itself is quite complex. But what I want to do in this video is just share some uh, ideas, some techniques or strategies and principles that will help you to get started. So maybe you've been you know, uh, painting in Photoshop or other apps for a while and, you know, you're kind of getting stuck on color. Um, these three ideas will help you to not only make your skin more, uh, more lifelike, but also just to give you a little bit more control and understanding of how color works. And make sure you watch to the end of the video because um, I'm going to share a super secret technique that will really make your skin color more dynamic and more lifelike. Okay, the first thing you want to do is to control your value and you want to start with a base color or local color that's at a relatively dark value. Now, this may seem obvious, but the thing to keep in mind is when you start with a dark local color, you, you want to make sure that your shadows are going to go much darker than they would normally and also that your highlights are going to be a lot darker too. So, for example, let's say you start with a local color, a brown or an earth tone. That's at around, um, in Photoshop, about 25% brightness. Your shadows are going to go really, really dark. So make sure your shadows go nice and dark. So they're going to be anywhere from 15 to 10% brightness even. And the, the key to remember is the highlights. Now, you want to make sure your highlights don't get too bright. Now, I know um, there's going to be some exceptions. For example, if the skin is moist or wet or oily and there's a hot direct spotlight, then the highlights can get to be very bright. But in general, in a soft or ambient or indoor general setting, the highlights aren't going to get too bright. So you, don't, you want to make sure that they stay relatively dark. So in Photoshop, that'll be anywhere from you know, uh, uh, 50, 60, or even 70% brightness at, at the most. So that's that's the key is to control um, the value and make sure your highlights don't get too bright. Okay, the second thing to remember is that uh, color and especially skin color needs variation. So variation, 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 color variation. So one thing you could do is, for example, when you're starting to paint your, your base uh, skin color, your local color, you want to make sure you have maybe a slightly um, reddish version of your color. Maybe you want to have a slightly uh, grayed down, desaturated version of your color. You want to have a version that's a little bit bl brighter, maybe has a little bit more orange or more yellow. And maybe you want to have a version that's uh, has more blue or more, more violet. So the more color variation you can add, the more lifelike, not only uh, the color will feel, but it'll feel like a living organic thing because that's the nature of color is it's a con constantly shifting and changing especially on an organic thing like a human being because there's so much uh variation in color you know you have uh, the veins you have plane changes you have marks and freckles so the more variation you can add the more uh lifelike it will feel so here's an example where if you compare um a base skin color just, uh, you know, my first uh, strokes of color, you compare that um, to one that is flat, that's only using the same color throughout throughout the, the, the shape, you can see how uh, the one on the right just looks much more vibrant and more lifelike because it has color variation. Okay, and the last thing to remember is don't be afraid to add blue, um, or violet or even green. Don't be afraid to use blue. Now, when I say blue, you don't literally have to add like a pure saturated blue, but you know, whether you're using, let's say you start with a dark earth tone color, you know, you can, as you go darker, you can, you know, maybe add more blue and violet into the shadows. And then um, you want to do the opposite in the light. So as you go uh, brighter, you know, you can add more um, maybe green, green like a yellow, uh, more yellow and orange and greens into the lights. Or maybe you're doing the opposite, you know, maybe you have a cool light on your subject. You want to add more violet 
as you go brighter. So your highlights will seem more violet and more pink and purple. And then as you go darker, your 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 colors can have um, more more gray, more gray, more even more towards a greeny gray. Because when you add uh, blue to a a dark brown, what you're going to get is a dark gray color. So that's something to keep in mind. Sometimes adding blue simply means making your color more gray or more desaturated. So definitely play with the uh, saturation. Don't be afraid to use very desaturated colors alongside of your more saturated colors in your skin tone. So don't be afraid of blue. And the final color technique, the bonus technique, is to surround your uh, dark, warm colors with brighter, cooler colors and desaturated colors. So obviously if you want your skin color to feel darker, you want to surround it with lighter colors. If you want your skin color to feel uh, more warm, more earthy, surround it with cooler colors. And if you want your skin color to feel more saturated and more rich, surround it with uh, desaturated colors. So here you can see that even as I add color and detail to the costume pieces, I still keep the colors relatively bright, relatively cool in temperature, and uh, relatively gray and desaturated. And especially in the background, if I want her skin color to pop, I'm going to put a very bright uh, and cool temperature colors um, that are also very desaturated. But uh, as colors get this bright, they tend to naturally be desaturated. Okay, that's the end of this video. I want to thank you for watching. If you like this video, make sure you head on over to my website at www.drawwithchris.com. And there you can download the uh, color palettes that I use. You can uh, get the reference. You can see the, uh, the text version and see handouts, as well as the Photoshop brushes. If you like, uh, you know, if you want to follow along and do a, a digital painting yourself, you can download uh, my brushes, my color palettes, my resources. And all that's available for free at www.drawwoodchris.com. You can just enter your email and you'll be good to go. So that's it for today. Until next time, get out there, keep drawing, keep painting, and build up that mileage. Bye for now.